Hi, I'm Sean Wiley from Revolution Machine Tools, and today we'll be featuring the SFAB CM2129 bandsaw. It's a column type bandsaw, single miter. Uh, 2129 uh, indicates the 21 by 29 rectangular opening for your materials. Uh, it comes with a laser light that's off now. You turn it on. You can see there the laser cut line. Uh, this particular saw is great because it, the single miter readout is on the actual bow. So what travels with you as you come around, you just simply unlock it. And you can read the degrees on the digital readout here. For instance, that's at 33.5. Five. Just lock it. Doesn't move. Unlock. Back to zero. Going through the control, this uh, comes with the clamping, hydraulic clamping and top clamping, has a roller feed, comes with roller feed tables or you can order motorized roller feed tables. Uh, you have the laser on and off here, the bow up, bow down, on and off, coolant. And this saw comes with three different speeds, you have band speed, which you would look in your manual at the chart and tell you what band speed to run for that particular metal. That helps with uh, uh, blade life. We feature carbon blades in all of our saws. Then you have the uh, bow speed, how fast the bow travels through the material. That's also important for efficiency and blade life. But this particular saw has hydraulic pressure saw. So it indicates what type of metal on the graph, on the dial itself, and you dial that in for the type of metal, and that changes the pressure, whatever pressure is pushing. So it's not just the pressure of the bow itself, the weight of the bow itself pushing through, but it's actually hydraulically assisted. So let me show you the control. Going back through the control, here's the laser line on and off. Sometimes you just don't need it. Uh, this is the top clamp. This is the clamp. Very simple to learn and to teach this control. It's almost self-explanatory by the icons. You have bow up, bow down, coolant on and off. This is indica powder indicator light, e-stop of course. And uh, this is the blade speed, so this is how fast the blade rotates. Again, you just go off the chart, the type of metal material that you're cutting. Uh, it's real important for blade life. Even though we use carbon blades, uh, that's very important for blade life, obviously. And so is the blade, or the bow speed, how fast the bow cuts through. Again, we have charts for your different types of material. Not to be confused with bow pressure. This dial shows everything from titanium down to mild steel and everything in between. And you want to dial that in for how much hydraulic pressure is pushing on the cut. When you dial these three speeds in correctly, you'll get maximum efficiency and maximum blade life. 